Hello dentist, how are you today? I hope you're fine. Uh, today uh, we're, I'm going to highlight uh, on the oral and clinical qu uh, exam questions uh, for uh, dental students and dentists at the clinic and also uh, the important cases uh, uh, that come to the clinic and how to deal with them uh, either by treatment or um, uh, how to diagnose the cases. So our uh, case today uh, is really common and uh, uh, I'm going to tell you um, uh, let's start now. Uh, a patient comes to the clinic with pain in the lower uh, premolar. She has a radiograph uh, that shows a periapical radiolucency and loss of bone height. Our question today is how would you determine whether this is a periodontal or a periapical lesion? So this is our question today. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to take a, a, a pain history and establish the nature of the pain, examine the patient and assess the response to percussion and vitality testing. So we have to check the percussion and the vitality test. Also, we have to check the pocket depth. So, uh, um, as you know that periodontal and periapical uh, pathologies uh, can occur together uh, that may lead to difficulty in diagnosis. Uh, there is little evidence to support the theory that periodontal pathology leads to peri uh, pe uh, palpal necrosis. As in, uh, in most clinical situations, to reach a diagnosis, uh, the dentist must take an appropriate history followed by examination, investigation, starting with chair side investigation, that's vitality testing, followed uh, by special investigation, that's radio radiologically. So it's very important. Uh, in this case, a patient comes with uh, um, a, a radio, a periapical radiolucency and loss of bone height. So, and we want to we want to know whether this is a periodontal or a periapical lesion. So it's very important to diagnose the, uh, and differentiate between the periodontal uh, lesion and a periapical lesion. Uh, let's see how. Uh, in case of uh, primary periodontal lesion, so here this is a periodontal abscess. Okay, okay, before we start this, I want you to look at this radiograph. Okay, this is a periodontal uh, um, a lesion. Okay, can you see the radiolucency here around the, tooth, uh, the roots? This is a radiolucency. Okay, this indicates that this is a periodontal uh, uh, lesion or a periodontal disease. The peri this is a periodontal lesion, and this is a periapical lesion. Okay, can you see the radiolucency is at the at the apex? So we call it a periapical apex. Okay, so this is called periodontal lesion. This is called periapical lesion. So here, this is is uh, here the suppose the here the vitality test uh, is really uh, the tooth are vital. Okay, this is this is this is a feeling, but in case of normal tooth, okay, you will find that only there is a radiolucency around the root, but the tooth, uh, the pulp is, is vital. But in this case here, the pulp is dead, okay, there is no, uh, um, uh, the vitality test is negative, okay, this means that the tooth is not vital, okay, due to the periapical lesion. So here the pulp is, uh, is not uh, vital and here the pulp is vital. Okay. But um, okay. Here only the radiolucency around the root. So in the periodontal li ligament. So let's start with the differentiation. How to differentiate? It's really, uh, some people really don't know how to differentiate between the periodontal and the periapical lesion uh, as it's, they are so close. And But today we're going to, I'm going to tell you a very um, good way to, do, how to differentiate between the periapical and the periodontal lesion. And it's a very common case that comes to the clinic. So let's start with the periapical uh, uh, primary periodontal primary periodontal okay so this is a periodontal abscess and this is a periapical abscess can you see here the abscess is at the at the uh, laterally okay here is periapically so this is in case of periodontal ligaments or periodontal abscess okay here is at the apex here we call it periapical abscess so let's start how to differentiate now between primary periodontal and primary pulpal case of uh, primary periodontal in case of uh, history uh, no preceding toothache so there is no pain in the tooth okay there is no pain in the tooth in case of pulpal 
here there's often ha the patient comes with pain really pain is a tooth uh, he has a toothache uh, means preceding means comes before the uh, infection in the periodontal ligament no preceding pain okay so but there is pain after after that percussion when we hit when we make percussion with the uh, mirror okay on uh, the uh, laterally okay if the if we hit the tooth laterally uh, here okay what happened there the tooth is tender on percussion especially laterally so when the percussion is done laterally okay uh, the patient will feel pain so this means this is a periodontal primary periodontal lesion here in case in case of periapical okay the percussion is done vertically so you put the mm, the the back of the mirror or the the other side of the the other uh, end of the mirror here okay and we make percussion and uh, on the occlusal or inside the edge and we will find pain the patient will feel pain he wouldn't stand the pain so this means that this is a periapical abscess okay so uh, here so here so we said that this is teeth tooth is tender to percussion especially laterally and here the tooth is tender to percussion especially vertically okay so you have to put the mirror here the side of the um, other end of the mirror here and make percussion here occlusally or uh, incisory here laterally okay in case of periodontal ligament we hit the here we put we press here hard laterally so he will feel the pain so how this is how to differentiate that this is periodontal and this is periapical second thing you can use a periodontal probe okay and put the probe here okay to find uh, to check whether for periodontal pockets so periodontal pockets are found in the periodontal uh, legion no pockets are found here the tooth is the gingiva is well established and there is no pockets no pockets at all okay can you see no pockets but here we find pockets uh, probing sinus probing sinus may lead to pockets so probing sinus may lead to pockets okay here you can hey here probing sinus may lead to apex to the apex discharge the uh, getting out of a uh, pus is through the pockets here the, it will get out through the pocket the discharge will be because it's in the periodontal ligament it will get out from the pocket in case of here it's through the apex usually over the apex and maybe at the gingival margin okay at the apex no, normally at the age uh, apex or the uh, the gingival margin this is the gingival what is that? this is the gingival margin okay swelling let's see the difference between swelling so it is attached here in case of periodontal it's attached the swelling is attached uh, ging uh, the gingiva in attached gingiva okay here the swelling is at the apex so can you differentiate now between the periodontal and the periapical there's a big difference here at the gingiva is attached gingiva and here in the uh, apex uh, timing swelling usually precedes pain so it's very important that to know that the swelling here usually precedes comes before the pain so the patient may come have a swelling this means he will not feel pain and then um, uh, later on he may feel start feeling the pain so swelling usually precedes pain here the pain in the case of periapical abscess or uh, primary pulpal this is the pain usually precedes swelling so the pain will feel firstly he will feel pain before the apex before the swelling so he will feel pain before the swelling happens okay so this is the timing of the swelling let's know another difference vitality testing so if we put make the vitality testing for this uh, tooth okay we'll find it here positive this means that the tooth is vital the pulp is vital and there is no infection in the pulp so the pulp is vital in case so we call it positive vitality test uh, here we have uh, in case of periapical negative vitality test this means that the pulp is infected and no the pulp is not vital it might be dead okay uh, radiograph is another difference 
a vertical bone loss there is vertical bone loss here in case of this one the periodontal uh, primary periodontal in case of primarily pulpal apical area okay as we said before let's look at this radiograph here we said that this is um, in case of radiograph of um, the uh, primary periodontal the vertical bone loss can you see this is vertical okay bone loss and here the bone loss is apical is where apical okay this is vertical bone loss okay and this is apical okay so here start the period the problem with the periodontal it it makes it start, the bone starts to resorb and, and the infection in the in the periodontal ligament uh, causes the root to loosen up and then and then falls out here in this case uh, this is uh, in case of periapical uh, abscess is related to the root only okay and this could be uh, done uh, its treatment we can make uh, endodontic treatment later on okay uh, let's go here after this we said the difference now between the primary periodontal and the uh, primary pulpal let's revise quickly in case of periodontal abscess tooth is vital here periapical because it's related to the pulp so non-vital tooth here there is no caries here there is case caries of course uh, here a uh, periodontal abscess uh, there is a pocket there is no pocket in case of periapical abscess okay uh, lateral radiolucency here this is lateral side apical radiolucency in case of uh, periapical abscess mobility of course to the periodontal because of the, the uh, bone resorption and the infection in the periodontal ligament so uh, cutting of the periodontal ligament which leads to uh, and then a resorption of the bone so there is mobility of the teeth here there is no mobility percussion sensitivity variable okay because you have to uh, make percussion laterally okay and uh, you might feel uh, the patient might feel uh, um it's not always uh, really indicative in this case okay so lateral percussion uh, in order to uh, to show that this is a periodontal abscess okay here percussion sensitive okay once you hit the tooth occlusally or incisally okay or making percussion uh, uh, vertically uh, so there is a positive uh, the pain will the pain the patient will feel pain automatically sinus tract opens via curtainized gingival sinus tract opens via alveolar mucosa so i hope that you enjoyed today's uh, episode okay this uh, lesson and i hope you i hope you all the luck in the coming uh, exams and good luck for the coming exams